This is part eight of our negotiation book, The Introduction, Body Language. Uh, this chapter is very straightforward. There's not a lot of heavy information about negotiation here. It's much more about the tactics of how you can use your body language in order to influence the negotiation. In this way, it's very much like chapter seven, part seven, where we were talking about using questions to send signals, not always just to ask questions. Body language is the same kind of idea. You use your body language to send information. At the same time, you need to be careful to not let your body language give away secret information. So when your body language uh, reacts to maybe an offer on price, if you turn a certain way or you pull back a certain way, they may think, oh, they're getting close to your resistance point. Whereas when you lean in, they may think that you're actually ready to offer more and you have more room. You're further away from your resistance point. So these are the kinds of things you can use your body language to help influence in negotiation. Now, of course, in our case, our negotiation in our RPG is not always face to face, but it could be over video even and even over audio or even just texting where you can send a certain kinds of emoticons and send little pictures. They also kind of duplicate that emotion that you convey with body language. Uh, but of course, the most important is that face-to-face -face communication. Your body language really does make a difference. So in our case, in our RPG, we don't have to be face-to-face, -face, and many negotiations are even over email, not face-to-face -face at all. But still, uh, it's important that if you have a big negotiation that's very important to your company, you may want to try face-to-face -face if you can use body language to get an advantage, especially in a distributed negotiation. Of course, in an integrative negotiation, it may be very helpful to be face-to-face -face also because you can see, can you really trust these people? In an email, it's going to be very hard to see, can I trust you? And I think basically impossible. Of course, everyone's going to say you can trust them. But can you really? I'm not, I'm not sure you, you could or I, I'm not sure I would, that's for sure. So this face-to-face -face is really important for the body language if you want to get something more, if you want to get something bigger or something special. Of course, body language can include many types of things such as the clothes you wear and the way you look and the way you move your arms and the way you move your body and the signals you send. So I would say that when it comes to body language, very much like questions, it's not a complicated topic. It's a very easy topic to talk about, but it's a very hard topic to do because we act naturally and we're not used to watching out what our body sends as a signal. We also are not used to looking at the other side and watching what signals are they sending to me. But they can be really important to gain an advantage. In